Want it to be natural, therefore it's good for you. Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020 from.com. Today, we're going to be talking about honey. But more importantly, we're going to be comparing honey with sugar. Is honey better than sugar or is sugar better than honey? Uh, this promises to be an interesting fight, so uh, stay tuned to watch this. Now, this video was prompted by something that happened recently. About 18 months ago, I shot a video where I had a recipe in that video and in that recipe, I used honey as one of the ingredients. And I sounded a cautionary note about the use of honey in that video. If you are recently uh, watched that video and took exception to what I said, and uh, he wrote to me and there was a bit of back and forth between the two of us and eventually he conceded because i presented the facts and the evidence uh, to him now uh, all of that is based on a lot of hype that goes on regarding honey on the internet uh, there's a lot of misinformation and disinformation uh, videos that have millions of views and i felt it's time for us to tone it down a little bit so that we can actually look at the facts and the evidence before us uh, before we can pass any judgment on whether honey is better than sugar so uh, in this video we're going to have five criteria that we're going to look at and then that will be followed by a scientific study so let's get started so the first thing we're going to look at is the origin okay so here is here we go here is the origin and uh, here you can see that sugar uh, as you probably know already, comes from sugar cane and sugar beets. If you don't know what uh, sugar cane looks like, this is what it looks like. And sugar beets, this is what they also look like. <coughs> Excuse me. And then honey uh, is made from nectar that is sourced by uh, the honey bees. And you can see the uh, bee, they're very busy uh, trying to get some nectar from that flower. It's not even paying attention to what I'm saying. But why is the origin important? It is important because uh, sugar, as we know, is refined and honey is thought to be natural. But what you'll find is that over 75% of the uh, honey you're going to find on your supermarket shelves, uh, they're not really natural because this has been tested. And a lot of the honey you, that, that, that have been sold to you are lacking in the bee pollen. What does that mean? It means they've been ultra filtered. And that ultra filtration disqualifies the honey being sold in most uh, supermarkets as being natural, okay? Uh, even the raw honeys, and they have to ultra filter them to remove impurities and all sorts of uh, uh, other, other things to make it more appealing uh, for you uh, to buy. So uh, natural is quite debatable. Okay, so that's that. Let's look at composition then. Uh, composition, uh, here we go. As you can see here, honey has more stuff. Honey is made up of 35% glucose, 40% fructose, 9% sucrose. The rest are made up of simple sugars. Plus you got trace minerals and vitamins there. Now, I underlined that word there, trace because uh, a lot of the hype on the internet about how honey is so beneficial to health is based on the fact that it's got this extra stuff, extra minerals, extra vitamins. But the point of the matter is that they are just trace, okay? For you to get the benefits of the minerals, the uh, copper, for instance, in honey, you need to eat bucket loads of honey. And if you do that, you're gonna be unwell. There's no doubt about that. So, um, take that uh, that claim with a pinch of salt okay because the minerals and the vitamins in honey are in the trace amount okay so what about sugar then what's in sugar well sugar is very straightforward it's 50 percent glucose and 50 percent uh, fructose okay so that's the composition honey has more stuff but a lot of it is more sugar than anything else that's the takeaway from that next we look at taste uh, taste uh, honey is sweeter uh, and that's because the simple sugars in honey are in the free format okay so uh, you know the, the, the fructose there is free uh, the glucose there is free uh, so 
that's why it tastes sweeter of course sugar is less sweet because the sugars uh, in table sugar are in the form of disaccharide which is the sucrose so the sugars in table sugar they're still bound together uh, so uh, the fructose is not free usually anything that has fructose in it if the fructose is free uh, then it will be very sweet because fructose is sweeter than glucose okay so next we look at calories calories um let's look at calories here and as you can see here uh, a tablespoon of honey will yield 64 calories whilst a tablespoon of sugar will yield 48 calories so honey has more calories uh, going head to head uh, compared to sugar okay uh, so very very important that you should take note of that next we look at glycemic index this is the fifth criterion that we're going to look at glycemic index now glycemic index refers to how quickly a food will raise your blood sugar after you consume it a food that has a high glycemic index will shoot up your blood sugar very quickly and a food that has a low glycemic index uh, will sort of raise your blood sugar in a much more stable manner okay so um let's look at the glycemic index for honey then and sugar so here we go uh for honey the glycemic index is 61 and for sugar it is 65 so they're basically the same really uh, there's not much of difference between the two uh, now you've got to be careful where you source your information from uh, because there's uh, all sorts of misinformation regarding the glycemic index of honey it might vary a little bit depending on the content of the fructose and, and the glucose but by and large it hovers around the 61 mark okay uh, and this the source of this is from is from the international table of glycemic index so there you go the glycemic index between the two is not that much different so next we're going to look at the study so we've looked at the five criteria comparing honey with sugar now let's look at a study what happens in the real world when people consume honey and sugar how does it affect their metabolic markers okay so that's what we're going to look at here so uh, this study uh, was, uh, I like this study because it's a human study. A lot of the studies regarding honey, some of them are in rats, but this is a human study and it is randomized control trials. I, you know how I love my randomized control trials. So let's look at this. It was published in the, uh, in the Journal of uh, Nutrition, Journal of Nutrition, and it's titled Consumption of Honey, Sucrose, and High Fructose Corn Syrup Produces Similar Metabolic Effects in glucose tolerant and intolerant individuals okay so that's the study title now let's look at the study design in the study design uh, what they have is uh, the fact that it is a randomized control trial like I said earlier on and um, they, the peop the participants in the study were either glucose tolerant or had impaired glucose tolerance impaired glucose tolerance is just the medical terminology for pre-diabetes really okay so uh, they had people who did not have any glucose issues and they also had people who were pre-diabetic but not on any medication now they tested three sweeteners uh, high fructose uh, corn syrup honey and sugar they made these three sweeteners go head to head and they gave them 50 grams of each sweetener daily for two weeks okay for two weeks and then they had a two to four weeks washout period between each sweetener and what the researchers were, were looking for was the effect of these three sweeteners high fructose corn syrup honey and sugar the effects on glucose insulin lipids inflammatory markers and body weight uh, those were the outcome measures they were looking out for so let's look at the study result so the study result goes like this uh, and this is quite interesting um, what they found was that all three sweeteners raised blood sugar mm -hmm. yeah all three sweeteners raised insulin levels yes all three sweeteners produced insulin resistance okay all three sweeteners raised inflammatory markers and all three sweeteners raised blood triglycerides the only difference was the fact that uh, we had or rather they had higher responses 
in the pre-diabetic individuals more than the people who did not have any glucose issues okay so uh, the point being made there uh, in that study is that in terms of metabolic markers there is no difference between honey and sugar no difference they are both essentially the same they do the same thing they have the same effects on your metabolic markers after all uh, that is what we're interested in we want to know whether honey is safer than sugar and as far as that randomized control trial is concerned there isn't any difference so here is what we can learn from the facts and evidence available to us regarding honey and sugar honey just like sugar is a carbohydrate food honey just like sugar is a high carbohydrate food honey just like sugar has calories in fact honey has more calories than sugar honey just like sugar will raise your blood sugar levels honey just like sugar will raise your blood insulin levels honey just like sugar will raise your inflammatory markers honey just like sugar will cause the same harm I talked about uh, regarding sugar in the last video it, the effect is essentially going to be the same it's going to raise your triglycerides just like sugar will so uh, here's the thing when I see people uh, draping their, their pancakes and draping their uh, oatmeal just pouring honey into all sorts of foods uh, in such huge quantities just because it is thought to be natural uh, my heart bleeds uh, because you shouldn't be doing that uh, honey is no different uh, from sugar yes the food is going to taste very sweet uh, you're going to enjoy it a lot but at the end of the day honey is just as harmful as sugar okay honey is just as harmful as sugar is there is no difference between the two as far as I'm concerned honey is just sugar in liquid format end of story as you can see there they all have the same glucose fructose and honey's got more so um, please uh, you should avoid falling into the hype uh, or into the trap that has been set by the honey producers and the retailers uh, professing honey to be natural therefore is good for you um, honey is basically sugar in liquid format end of story okay that's not debatable if you look at the evidence it's not debat debatable if you are going to use honey at all just like sugar just use small amounts reasonable amounts okay so long as you don't exceed uh, 24 to 30 grams a day you should be okay but for me it's not uh, a good substitute for sugar so uh, I just thought I should draw that line so you understand where I'm coming from okay you can use honey but use small amounts so hopefully you learned something from this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up uh, please like the video uh, please share this video with everybody really okay because people need to know that really there's no difference between honey and sugar in terms of metabolic effects so please pass this video on and also if you got any comments any questions go ahead leave them down below are you one of those who believed that honey was healthier than table sugar well uh, go ahead do let me know in the comments below please uh, i think that's about it until next time well this is dr joe signing out